Hi, my dear people. I really want to share something I learned from my prayer devotion this morning. It's about your enemies. So even though I was praying and cursing my enemies and saying that God protect me against my enemies, destroy them wherever they are, release angels to strike them wherever they are, but something was revealed to me this morning that your enemy can make you to sit up. Your enemy can be your destiny helper. Your enemy can be the tiebreaker of your breakthrough. So, this opened my eyes to see spiritual things in a different way. I learned something this morning. Dear people, then I look at one of the chapters that talks about my enemies. Proverbs 24, 17. It says, Do not rejoice when your enemy falls. And let not your heart be glad when he stumbles. Do you hear that? Do not rejoice when your enemies falls. And let not your heart be glad when he stumbles. So our enemies help us to work hard. They help us to protect ourselves, our families more. They help us to sit up from our position. Now, before my, before my prayer devotion this morning, I was, I was like asking God, why would you allow your enemies to reign. Why would you not destroy Satan? If God had decided to destroy Satan, many of us would hardly be drawn closer to God. We would assume that, oh, there is no, no need for me to even draw closer to God and no need for me to fix things because no matter what I do, I'm going to go to heaven. No matter what I do, I, I still remain a child of God. But because of our enemies, we have the opportunity to draw ourselves closer to God, to seek Jesus as our protection. So God does not make mistake. This thing keeps coming in my head. Why do God allow Satan and the evil people around us? They have their own responsibility. They have their own job. They work for the devil, but they also help us to go closer to our Father, God, and to draw closer to Jesus. So I now see why Jesus, Jesus was talking in Luke chapter 6 from verse 27. He says, But I say to you who, um, who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. Pray for those who abuse you. Now, I realized that when I was small and I was growing up, I was abused by others. But some of those who abused me are now in the Lord. They are now in the Lord. They are saving Jesus. They are doing the work of Christ. So suppose I would have prayed that God strike this one down because he abused me. If that person would have died, he would have gone to hell maybe. But today, that person is saving God. It's a radical person doing the work of Jesus, bringing people closer to God. Look at what Paul, Saul, was doing before he became a child of God. He was killing the children of God. But God drew him closer and transformed his life. And he became one of the most, most significant writer of the books in the Bible. So just think about that. This is time for us to realize that our enemies can be our destiny helper. Our enemies can work for our good. When they abuse you, pray for them and smile. When they talk evil against you, just say, God, thank you for this purpose. You created evil. For this purpose, you created me. Sometimes they, makes you, they make you to become stronger. Sometimes it makes you 
to avoid going to the wrong places. Sometimes it makes you to stay home with your families. Sometimes it makes you to drive cautiously. So our enemies sometimes are not really our enemies. They are our destiny helpers. That's another way to see it. God just blessed me this morning to realize that. And I'm so blessed. Father God, I pray that my enemies will live longer. And they shall come closer to you to serve you. Do not destroy them. Do not kill them. Amen. God knows why he allows Satan to reign. Hey. My Jesus. Somebody said in Romans chapter 12 verse 20. Look at this guy. Paul. <laughs> he said. To, to, to the contrary. If your enemy is hungry. Feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. If you do the good things to your enemies, they will be like, wow. So one thing I discover about succeeding is by doing good things to your enemies. So when they see you and not being worried about what they say or what they plan to do to you and you are just giving them back the right message that you are blessed god bless you if they say i'm sorry and then it doesn't it doesn't